one's a big one. Try social sciences. If you have, Michael, can you get out of that screen and go to it online and do it as well? So LibreText.org uh, and then go to, yes, uh, one of the, what did I say? The Social Sciences Libraries. And then if you go to the Campus Bookshelf and go down and hopefully you'll see Prince George's Community College. Is it on here? We should have one. Alphabetical. There we are. Woohoo! And there's my book. Yeah, Assessment of Students. Don't click on it. Let me stop. <laughs> it's funny how you can be like, oh, don't judge me. Um, scroll down. What else is on there? Com 1010, Com 1130, Com 1090. Ooh, uh, our econ books. Are, ooh, good choice. Good choice. Okay, so the Com books actually have one of the the Com the interviewing one has a ton of videos that are. And then I say that, and then it's like, oh, where? I don't know. Um, but the, they have videos that the faculty created and the COM, what, what was the other one, 1090, was totally created by um, a faculty member. So under each library, you could have a, um, a bookshelf. So that's why I was like, oh, I don't know which one. So social science obviously is a nice, it's a big meaty one for us. We have several things under there. But we also have... Um, Michael, if you open another tab, and I'm going to get this right, commons dot, comes up automatically on mine, commons, commons dot pgcc dot libretext, you may have to Google, it's going to be like, that isn't right, um, yeah, Google, yeah, commons, oh, there it was, Libra commons. There we go, PG, oh, the other way, pgcc.commons.libretext.org. I like this site better um, because it is all of our stuff. So you can see that we have, I don't know, is this all ours? Yeah, everything. We have 55 books that are housed there. Items per page, I can't read it, Michael's going too fast. Okay, but <laughs> if you go to commons, no, pgcc.commons.libretext.org, we have our own campus commons. So any faculty member that comes on, we can say, hey, you can go here, you can find all of our resources. The thing, the, one of the, the shifts for us moving from the Z courses to the OERs was that when a, fa a faculty member would feel like this is mine when it was a Z course and they would not share it with anyone. I'm like, are we, seriously? You signed a contract when you came to the college that said the work that you create is the college's, not yours. But we, they had a real problem with sharing stuff. So here, it is on a common site. So when that faculty member leaves, when I leave and somebody has to teach my course, they don't have to reinvent the wheel. They can use the resources that I created. When I started teaching that course, assessment of students, there was no book. There was no curriculum. There was no syllabus. I was like, OK, now how long has this course been taught here at the college and we don't have anything? Because the faculty member took it all with them. It was in their LMS and they were not sharing that with anyone. But for me, when I leave, any, use it. It's all there. Um, so I like that about Libra text. It also gives you this option so that we're all, again, we're all on the same page. We can all look at this and know what we have available, where are the holes, how do we move this thing forward. Um, and I think that was the last slide. Deborah, I just, I just wanted to mention that Libra text is the largest OER platform out there. But if there's something that is in another platform that you would want to be able to use, LibreText is happy to bring in anything that exists that's open. So suppose you're on some other platform and you're like, hey, I really like this book, but it's only on platform X. All you have to do is ask LibreText to bring that book in. And since it's an open book, they will actually bring that in for you, which is really helpful. And the other piece that Deborah mentioned was the idea of being able to 
change the language of text. You might have this awesome textbook, but you might say, I may not say it exactly like this. So the ability to be able to, the ability to be able to take information and make edits to it, to change the voice of that or explain it in the way that you want is also really powerful. And like Deborah mentioned, the ability to create. So you could actually go in and create, put your own notes, your own things in there, and make that available as well. So the power of LibreText is something that is just really exciting. And what we're going to learn more about this afternoon is the remixer. Mm -hmm. I mean, for us, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out how are we going to house and store our OERs. Um, have you guys come up with a strategy for how you're going to do that? Because our initial strategy was that we were going to keep this in the LMS, right? Which for us didn't facilitate any sharing of information at all, and it was a closed environment, right? So we started off looking at our LMSs, and we're like, well, every time there's a new course, there's work that needs to be done. And then we thought about well, maybe we should use OER Commons. Well, how about SharePoint? Well, maybe we should be looking at this. And then we said, oh, how are we going to manage this? How are we going to manage the storage and the repository of this? What are we going to do to make sure that we have access to these whenever we want? So for us, the choice became really clear because like Deborah showed you, we don't have to worry about how this is being managed. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about how it's being updated. We don't have to worry about whether or not it's accessible or not. Mm -hmm. All of that stuff is being taken care of for us. So the ability to have this online repository that can be accessed inside and outside of an LMS, mm -hmm. and the ability to take content that exists, to be able to modify content or create our own, for us, that was something hands down, a game changer for us because we spent several months trying to figure out how are we managing our data? How are we storing this? How are we storing these textbooks? What are we doing to make sure they're accessible? And that was a real big thing for us. Um, have you guys given any kind of thought to how that works or is everything within the LMS or is it just different places? Most of the LMS. Okay. Some of it's housed in the LibGuides, mm -hmm. which the library mm -hmm. has a mm -hmm. Yeah, for us, that was a big selling point. Now, there were some drawbacks initially, so we didn't really like the appearance of LibreText when we compared it to some of the other ones. We thought initially that it, yeah, a lot of clicking. We thought the order of certain things were not very intuitive at first when we got started. And, you know, we've been using it more now, so you kind of don't see them as much. But I remember when we first started our evaluation of it, we kind of looked at it, and based upon just the look and feel of it, the very first time we looked at it, we were like, no, we don't really think this is for us, right? But then when we started asking those questions about how are we managing this data, how are we making sure it's online and all those other things, they'd really taken the time to figure it out, plus as well as the, you know, the remixer as well. Mm -hmm. And I think um, LibreText has continued to change and grow. The more they've, they've um, developed it, it's been awesome. So like I had said in the beginning, it was a lot of uh, chemistry stuff because that was the person who created it. But Michael mentioned that you can bring other things in. So just recently, we, um, we had somebody in our music department do a course. And they, they were, as the expert, went and found something that was perfect for their music course, but it wasn't in LibreText. And they had LibreText bring it over. So, and that's how the systems continue to grow. I agree that in the beginning it, it was a lot of clicking, but I think they've gotten better at that by um, doing these specific libraries for your college. So if you go to, let's look at, I see COM 1130 interviewing. Can you click on that one, Michael, by Laura Miller and Annette Savoy? So scroll up a little, scroll, oh, okay. Um, show the table of contents, please. What's it doing? There it is. Okay. So, yeah, it, it looks like a book. 
So you will have the table of contents, and then if you just click on chapter one, overview of interviewing, it should take you to a page that says, okay, here are our learning objectives for this section. It gives a little overview. And then if you, you can go to the arrow on the right, that is like turning the page, or you could click on whichever tab you wanted to. Say, I want to skip to 1.2 or whatever. So then again, you have the content. And then you can just turn the page by going to the arrow. Try the interview types. I'm looking for one of their videos. Should have got to make a note of where their interviews are. Uh, scroll down. No, it doesn't look like where. I want a video. Um, go to the table of contents again. Let's see if we can look at it. Employee. Try employee interviews, interview, and then we'll we'll go ahead and go preparing types of interviews. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'll have to look. Uh, look at types of interviews. I'll have to find it and see where their videos are. They're so cute. Okay, I'll look later. Um, but you can also on this site. So this is one way students can access the material. They can look at it this way. They can look at it on this. LibreTech site commons that has been created for your college. Or they can download it. Um, so you'll see the blue button at the top where they can download it as a PDF so that they have a copy of it. And we can also, LibreText also does print copies at a very low cost if you're interested. But you can also import the OER into your LMS, which I love because it's another way for the students to access the content. So the next tab, just don't click on it because it'll do it. But it'll download a cartridge for you of the book and then you just go to your LMS and then you upload the cartridge so that the students can see the content right in the LMS. Yeah. So hopefully, I, th I think they've gotten better. Yes, they still have work to do, but they've gotten, they've gotten better with it. Awesome.